I just thank you for this opportunity to sit at the table with you, to be with you, to feel your presence. Yeah, Lord, 
I just thank you for every single person. I thank you for, uh, I thank you for opening up the eyes of their heart to perceive you, to feel you, for the tangible expression of God in their rooms, Lord. For the tangible expression of God right here in this room. Lord, I thank you that you uh, that you've given us the ability to be seated in heavenly places with you. So we just take advantage of what you paid for for us, and we we just go up, Lord. We just go up. We can't 
Jesus. Man, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing this picture of like the cat being removed. Where the cap is just being removed. I see the Father coming in and removing the cap of our experiences of God. Ooh. Yeah, Holy Spirit, pour out a greater experiences in you. Things that can never be shaken. The solid foundation of Christ in us, the hope of glory. Somebody needs to smile right now. Somebody in their room needs to just choose to smile. <laughs> choose to smile. The Lord is going to meet you in a smile right now. <laughs> yes, God. I thank you for fun, the fun of your presence, Lord, the fun of the Holy Spirit, the fun of the Father, the fun of Jesus. 
Wow. That he actually paid for us to have fun in his presence, to be free in his presence.
Come and take your place. Come and take your place. And be the center of my life. Come and take your place. Come and take your place. Be the center of my life. Oh, disarm us. Oh, disarm us. Oh, disarm us as we surrender all. Oh, disarm us. Oh, disarm us. Oh, disarm us as we surrender all. Come and take your place. Come and take your place. Be the center of my life. Oh, come and take your place. Come and take your Recalibrate us, Lord. Recalibrate us. Recalibrate us. Recalibrate our spirits. Be the center of everything in us. I feel like there's 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 this recalibration coming to the mindset that that uh, actually the safest. This is what I feel like. The safest place is surrender. The safest place to be is surrendered. Surrender to Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Lord, we just surrender to you. We surrender to you because you're so safe. You're so kind. It's the safest place for us to be. Surrender to you. Take the center of our lives, Lord. Be enthroned today. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Be enthroned in our lives today. Be enthroned in my life today, Jesus. Be enthroned in this hour today, Jesus. Be enthroned in this day this moment he's given us freedom to choose him or to not choose him (laughs) Lord but but I choose you today I can't make anybody else choose you today but I choose you today I choose for you to be the center of my life wow I feel like as we choose him to be our center all of the distractions are falling away all of the false burdens are falling away. All the false burdens are falling away. All of the false burdens that life can load on us are falling away as we just choose to make Him the center. Choose to make Him the point of the day. To let Him define our success today. Us choosing him is great success. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. Ooh, yeah. I, I, I feel this. Anybody that is feeling weary in the waiting, weary in the process, make him the center again. And the weariness is going to fall away. Ooh, I receive that. I receive that today. Lord, just would you just pour out a spirit language on somebody? 
So I feel like somebody today, uh, just I'm just going to pray in tongues for a while. And I feel like there's an invitation for you to just be bold and to just try it. And the Lord is going to pour out a spirit language on you, a way to connect that you've never felt before. When your mind can't think of what to pray, your spirit knows what to pray. Yeah, we lift you higher, Jesus. Be enthroned in our lives today. Shunda da baraba kaya de be de be. Ivre de be chende ne maraba raba baba kuye de be de be. Isanda raba na na maraya de be de be de de be shi shi shi. Isindria. I love you. 
read this scripture. <clears throat> it's in uh, John chapter 6, verse 27. It says, do not work for food that spoils, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. <laughs> for on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And there's fresh bread today. There's fresh bread today. There is fresh bread today. Ooh. And a realignment from distraction of the world to the fresh bread of eternal life. I feel that super strong. I feel like there, that there is, that there are, uh, there are actually, um, wow, man, I, I feel like that there's actually like missionaries that are being refilled today with fresh bread that you can no longer live on a past experience, but you need a fresh encounter, a fresh deposit, and the Lord has it for you. That the Lord's bringing the fresh bread today. It's available. And I feel like that there's some people that don't even know how hungry they are, but they're gonna taste and see, they're gonna taste of the Lord, <laughs> and they're gonna realize how hungry they were. They're even just gonna smell the presence, the smell Wow, yeah, just, <laughs> just, it's like right before you have a meal, you know, you get super hungry, right? When you just smell the fragrance of the meal. Wow, there is fresh bread today. It's not stale. Wow, Lord, we just, yeah, I just pray that, Lord. I just pray that, that every place that we've been used to and accepting stale bread, Lord, we just give you our stale bread we just exchange that for what you have for today. Wow. And every place where a religious spirit has just gotten us used to what bread will taste like or smell like, Lord, I, wow. <laughs> Lord, I thank you that you, you're not, you're not a pattern, <laughs> that you are a person. Wow. That everything is, is fresh with you. It's not just the same thing over and over again.
chapter 6 at verse 53 these are the words of Jesus it says very truly I tell you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day for my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I remain in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. Lord, I thank you for life, the life in your body, in your blood, it says, this is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate the manna and died, but whoever feeds on the bread, on this bread, the body of Jesus will live forever. And I don't know why this, this keeps on coming to my mind. I feel like that there's just some people that have, have been loving the Lord for a long time. Loving the Lord for a long time and and you know, this is a, just like Peter had responded to this, this portion of scripture. He said, this is, this is a hard saying, but, but where else is there to go? I feel like that, that, that's a, that is actually like a heart posture that is being taken in this moment. Where, where life has maybe shown you some difficult things. It's the responses, but Lord, you have the words of life, of eternal life. And I feel like there's fresh bread for these people today, including myself, <laughs> including me. Lord, we just receive your eternal life. We receive your body, we receive your blood for what you've purchased for us. We want the, the true food that you are. Wow. There's refreshing today. We receive your refreshing Jesus. We receive your refreshing Jesus. We receive your refreshing Jesus. We receive your strength.
Thank you for meeting us where we're at. Meeting us where we're at. Meeting us where we're at. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Box at your 
for mourning <laughs> yes God that every weapon that the enemy has formed against the body of Christ is being broken right now in the name and the power and the authority of Jesus Christ <laughs> ooh yeah all the joy for mourning that every spirit of heaviness is broken right now in the name of Jesus. Every false burden is broken right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lord, we just we just lay our false burdens down at your feet. <laughs> Shake up the ground of all my tradition. 
Break down the walls of all my religion Your way is better Your way is better Shake up the ground of all my tradition Break down the walls of all my religion Your way is better Your way is better Break down the walls of all my tradition Break up the walls of all my religion Your way is better Cause your way is better 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 Fill every person, every person from their head to their toes, <laughs> every person that can hear my voice right now. You would fill them up to overflow, Jesus, that you would fill them up with your presence, Holy Spirit. I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. Shura ma 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 more than defense but it's actually an offensive game I feel like I feel like the Lord is moving people into the offense 
Ooh, I thank you for just raising up intercessors. Fill them up, Lord. It says that, that Jesus makes intercession for us, and there is a place of being filled and being so connected with the Lord that it just flows through us. Ooh, <laughs> yes, that the will of heaven would be made known on earth and made manifest on earth, Lord made manifest into the people that can hear my voice right now, that they would be carriers of your presence, Lord. Carriers of your presence, Jesus. That you would teach us how to love well like you love, unconditionally, with no restraint. That expensive love, Lord. That love that costs everything, but so worth it. Ooh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Lord, we just thank you for this time, and I pray that everything that you deposited would be so deeply, deeply connected to their spirits, and that everything that you uh, wanted to say would be remembered and bear incredible fruit in Jesus' name. Amen.